Researchers at Flinders Uni believe they can improve on the old-fashioned concept of friendship. They've developed software that allows you to design your own friend that fits neatly in your pocket. Can we talk about your study now? Great. It's not a phony friend, but a virtual one. It's going to be a good substitute for where you don't have friends. You, know, you don't carry your friends with you all the time. How is that going? I'm not your mother, but I am going to call her. Humans are good at this and, and, and they like it. Okay? They like interacting with a real person. And why can't we reproduce that on a computer? Well, we can. The face of the future. iPhone are hoping the latest app, dubbed Siri, a personal assistant. Is it going to be chilly in San Francisco this weekend? Not too cold. Maybe down to 61 degrees in San Francisco. Siri was one way of doing it, but that one doesn't have a character. It doesn't have a face. Both still have a little way to go to be human. Uh, we're not announcing the end of friendship. Not yet, no. No. <laughs> Hey, stop poking me. But it's a face that Flinders Uni is backing to be a very familiar one soon. Amazing potential, global appeal. Welcome to the future. The dream here is virtual coaches, virtual salesmen, virtual doctors, and virtual journalists. Tim Hayden, seven news. As long as I don't have virtual news presenters and virtual sports presenters. <laughs>